we are once again back and uh, we have our mission. We have done uh, four launches in this series, which is unfortunate because I said that I would get to the moon by five. So I guess I got to make this one work. At this point, uh, we have not yet actually achieved orbits due to various technical issues, which um, were rather unfortunate. But I think what I'm going to do here is unlock advanced rocketry because that gives me a slightly bigger fuel tank which will really help because it means that I can cut my part count in half and hopefully I can now actually build something that will take to the to the moon or maybe at least take me around the moon and possibly onto the surface of Minmus. Crasher 925 hello how are you? So let's take a look at contracts before we do anything else Hey, hi from Paris, France. Okay, observation, observation. Mark 16 parachute in mm -hmm. flight. 3,000 to 9,000. You know what? This, this is a good option because these are the altitudes at which a parachute will normally deploy unless it's coming down too quickly. Uh, nothing else. Radial decoupler. Uh, da, 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 da. No, that's not good altitude for me. And stack decoupler is on an escape trajectory. So none of these are any good. So let's uh, let's go back and build this rocket. So, 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 we need to build something that can land on Minmus. Hello from New Hampshire, recovering from a giant windstorm yesterday. Power just came back on. Well, uh, I'm sorry to say that uh, you're watching me because uh, there's probably better things to do if you've not had, uh, if you've just had no wind. Oh, that, oh, oh, that's fine control. Just discovered a new control there. There we go. This, uh, this moves up and down. That's right. So I'm going to grab this and lift it. So I click on that and, oh yeah, it totally works. I'm never live in my time zone. Yes, well, this time zone is weekend time zone. The kids both decided they want to go to friend's house. So, uh, great. It's just me hanging out at home with some beer. I have some Golden State of Mind by Ale Industries. And we're building this rocket. Hello from the Netherlands. How are you, Mr. Netherlander? -er? Yeah, I don't know going to do that. Mystery Goo Containment Unit. We're going to need a couple of those and let's just see two of them. I actually am going to zoom in. Ha 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 ha. There we go. That's what I need. Bingo. Two of those. In fact, actually, let me just go up a little. I want these to be closer to the top because the closer they are to the top, the more... Oh, ooh, that's interesting. I wonder if that'll work. If I can get away with that, I'm totally taking that. Uh, parachute. Parachute needs to go on the front here. Bingo. Wow, there's a whole lot of hellos there. And honestly, normally I would be repeating these hellos to people. In fact, I would be saying, hello! But in this case, I'm just going to let you guys say hello because it will be documented in the channel, in the, the eventual upload, which will go to, um, go to YouTube. Okay, a live stream at a normal time. Yes, but it's it's a live stream at a normal time with not a normal piece of hardware. So this is the PlayStation 4 version. And yes, it has many drawbacks. It has many flaws. There are many things that could be done to improve things. Now, I'm going to do that. I'm just, I need to rotate it. I don't know the rotation control, so I guess I'm going to get used to using rotation controls from here. Oh, wow. Actually, now I think about it, grabbing this rotation thing is going to be a little complicated. There. Excellent. Now we can get back to building. So that is what's going to land. That's what's going to come back. So you guys need to be coming up with ideas for what the name is. That's very important. Uh, yeah, the goo, goo sitting up the top helps with aerodynamics. Okay, so you've got to be coming up with not just the name, but a reason for why I should pick your name, right? Because there is going to be a ton of awesome names, and it's really only fair that I uh, give the naming privileges to the person who sets themselves apart by being funny or something, right? So uh, people that automatically don't get to name it are... Um, 
people that make comments about the PC version being better than this because that is just, you know, that's easy, right? That's not an easy, uh, it's not a hard thing to do. The great big HELLO Dino Tracker. Oh, by the way, this microphone probably sucks. Um, I'm still working on it. Tomorrow I should have the camera R name remain because the cause is a b leave it. What? Can I get it named after me? Uh, I said I would do it a few streams ago. I don't remember that. I am playing on the couch. So, uh, let me just see here. Oh, we need the structural thing. Yeah, there, there needs to be like a, a mouse acceleration mode, right? So there needs to be a way to speed this thing up, right? To the game devs, right? There should be a toggle that you hold, like uh, one of the toggle buttons or something. And then the mouse controls should snap to the various icons on the left. This would be total, make total sense. We're not going to the moon, probably. We're going to Minmus. We might fly by the moon, but Minmus is going to be the place we land because landing is what gives us the most rewards. Okay, so we need fuel tanks here. And I think this is where I start to do math, right? I'm going to have to bring up the information here. Okay, so we are at 7.8 tons. And if I fill this up with fuel... How long can I make it and still lift off? Because I want to use the LVT-45, right, for its thrust vectoring and for its more, its higher efficiency levels, right? So that is going to be 14 tons. And the engines, we have an LVT-45, which gets... I forget how much thrust it actually gets. Oh, 160. Okay, so it's going to get 200. So this will still be able to accelerate this thing against the forces of gravity. Great. Ditch that there. Uh-oh. That's a problem. Let's hide this. How do I hide this? This is the same bug as we have on the PC version. But it becomes more annoying when you have it on the console. Oh, man. Get on there. Get your butt on there, will ya? Uh, yeah, I, it is. That is one of the other things. There's quite a few screens at the space center where we really should have, um, where we should absolutely have controls that are mapped to the touch screen or mapped to snaps. Okay, so now with only a few parts left, we want to maximize the amount of thrust we get early on, and so we're going to use the big solid rocket boosters, right? Remember, we don't have a mass limit, but we do have a we do have a, a part number limit, right? So this is a way to get a lot of thrust with the least amount of parts. Uh, now, now I'm thinking about this. I guess no, that, that makes a copy. I wonder what the control is for dragging. Uh, do, 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 do. Will I play PC version soon? I'll play it whenever I play it. I'm Right now, uh, this is one of these tasks I've set myself to get all the trophies. So I'm not going to play the PC version on this live stream because it's physically impossible to play the PC version on this. Capolo uh, uh, uh. won the 40... Okay. Hello from Planet Kerbin and time for spaghetti. You don't want to happen to first three PS standing... What? P what is Jordan Dow talking about? I'm not getting his humor here. Okay, so 20, 23 tons, that's fine. Height is 22 meters, so we could do a few things here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, actually, is... I'm going to put... Do I even need stability control for this. I'm not sure. I think I can get away without stability control. So what we're going to do is have around the outside a bunch of these... Uh-oh. No, nope, that's that. How do I change... I'm forgetting how I change the symmetry mode. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to click here and change... Oh wait, no, I can't cycle symmetry mode here. 
I'm only getting stereoscopic symmetry and I need to remember which button changes it. That changes that. Uh, nope, that... You know what, I better save this before I accidentally cancel something. Silver Amadeus! Uh, thank you for thanking me and all that. I'm just going to give this a temporary name. Actually, I think Silver Amadeus. What a great name that is. I'm totally going to pick that. Silver Amadeus. Holy moly. Um, and once again, I'm realizing that I'm speaking really loud, and I'm sorry, because that's probably making things look bad. Silver Amadeus. Amadeus, Amadeus, Amadeus. Okay, I'm just going to save this because it's important. Save that. Because I need to figure out how to fix my symmetry here. Are there any advantages on the PlayStation 4? There are no, there's no reason to own this if you already own the PC version. Because unless you really want to sit on the couch. Uh, but having said that... It might be better for you to figure out how to play your PC on the screen if you're a big fan of sitting on the couch. That's just the nature. Okay. Symmetry method. Tap square button. Okay, that's what it was rather than... Let's try that. Uh, okay. Let's try hiding this. Okay. Okay, so symmetry method toggles with this, but symmetry count needs the toggle. Devs, what were you thinking? I mean, seriously, what were you thinking? That is just ridiculous. That is a straight up design failure, right? That you put, you made that the higher priority thing. I'm sorry, that does not, uh, I'm willing to defend the console version in many ways, but I am okay to point out many of its flaws. And there's quite a few. Okay, so sitting live from the acceleration couch, it's Kerbal Space Program. Okay, so we're going for the thumpers. Back thumper. Back thumper, this is obviously for people with cystic fibrosis. Um, there we go. Uh, for, for those that don't know, if you have cystic fibrosis, you end up with all sorts of phlegm and mucus forming in your lungs. and. Uh, it's quite often that you have systematic back bumping, back thumping to get rid of it. It's a terrible disease that I hope one day will be removed. Okay, we hope one day the world will be free of it. Okay, ah, <sighs> let's save this. I think, I think this is a good, good one. How many parts do we have left? Twenty-nine. That's pretty good. Okay. 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 I think this is us ready to go. We can't have any wings because we don't have the part count, right? That's important to realize. We could have one more part in here, but I don't see... I mean, I guess I could have another rocket, another um, fuel tank somewhere. Okay. Is there anything I can fit anywhere which will help us? Wow, Classy Mexican 5 is up to 70 hours logged, although I expect that 70 of those are trying to find the right controls. There are 69 of those, just kidding. Uh, it is not, you know, it's not easy. I'm just checking to see if there's any other ideas for things I can stick on this to hit my park count. I, th I think I'm going to go with this. I'm going with this. Are we ready? Um, let me just check. So we hopefully will have Jebediah in the command seat. Just going to check that. Crew. Jebediah is going to be the one. Oh, Materials Bay. Thank you. Yes, I knew we were missing something. Yes, we're missing the Materials Bay. Once again. Uh, uh, see, this is why it's good to have a whole bunch of uh, people in the background telling me things. Telling me they think they're doing it wrong. Oh, shush. Struggling with a controller. I, I don't struggle with a controller in many other games. It's just Kerbal Space Program where I'm used to the keyboard and mouse. That's really what happens here. 
Okay, thank you. Thanks for reminding me. We can loft that all the way out somewhere. I missed more boosters. We've got all the boosters we can have on this. Look at the amount of boosters. Save. Uh, is it daytime? I'm just going to check. It looks daytime out there. That's good. We're going to launch with this. Ready? I could print out a cheat sheet with the shortcuts if I was so inclined. <laughs> Uh, I never printed out a cheat sheet on the PC, oddly enough. I don't know. Okay, pardon me. I am going to go back to the Space Center and I'm going to advance time until the next morning. Because I want to launch during the day. During the day, I will have my solar panels working, which will guarantee that I have power. So, ah. Uh, Let's do this. Warp to next morning. There we go. Now we're ready to go. Rocket. Rocket Amadeus. 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 We're going to the moon. I don't know how to do it. I don't know the words to that song. But it would be kind of funny to have like a moon version. We'd be going to the moon. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Falco, he was an interesting dude. Okay, uh, zoom out. And holy moly, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun with a capital. I could, I could type warp while on the launch pad, but I want to do this. And go. So we're going to start turning right away because we need this thing to turn over. That's been problems on previous launches that we didn't turn over far enough or fast enough. But now this thing is going fast. Oh, got to be careful with my stability here. I don't want to offset it too much because I don't know what the aerodynamic stability of this thing is. It's probably fine actually with those there because those will be adding extra drag so the extra drag will help hold it in uh, some attitude you know that will be sensible so I'm just going to keep turning this why not turn off no I I, I want to control it what I want the SAS to do is to damp out the any other weird oscillations this thing is accelerating really nicely okay just noticed your previous stream on YouTube. Figured I should look, find you here too. Yes, it is true that I... The Kerbal Space Program I'm playing is mostly this. I mean, I did have some other stuff that I wanted to do last Tuesday night, but uh, I ended up, you know, getting too tired. I Actually, what really happened was I ended... Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, we've got some sort of stability issue. No, 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 no. You are coming back up. Come back up. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And now I'm actually going to deliberately, this is going to be slightly unstable. So I'm lifting the nose up because we need the altitude. 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 Okay. This is going to be a problem because odds are we are not gaining much altitude here. Oh, come on. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Okay, I'm going to push just downwards. I might have to go back and revert this to launch. Come on. Come on. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens first. I'm going to try and lift the nose up right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. And stability kicks in. Yeah, this isn't working. Let's, uh, let's... Oh, that's... Oh, that works. That's good. Wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. <laughs> Let's try reverting that to launch. Pardon me. 
<laughs> okay. So we we definitely we know the first bit is good. The second bit has some stability issues, but I think we can work our way through this, right? Stability control and launch and turn this over. So the only thing is when I stage, I need to make sure that I'm deflected slightly upwards, right? So the instability on the second stage will tend to lift the nose upwards, right? That's the only thing. So that's all we're doing here. Again, watch the stability, watch that velocity with that extra complexity on the way to university. Yeah, we're gonna, but what we're gonna do is when we stage it, we're gonna make sure that the natural instability that this thing is suffering is gonna push the, the nose upward. So what I'm guessing is that the solid rocket boosters are very, very dense. And so without the drag, the, suddenly it's moved the center of mass behind the center of you know, pressure, and therefore the whole thing wants to spin backwards. So that's fine, we can deal with that. So I'm going nose down here. It's starting to run out. As we start to run out, I'm gonna start pushing it the other way. So I'm starting to push it. There we go, and now, hopefully, the nose will pitch upwards. Yes, you see that? That's fine, because we can handle pitching upwards just a bit. We can handle some extra velocity. Pitching downwards is not, not that good. We're probably wasting a chunk of our velocity here, but that's fine. Let's get this thing pointing back, nose down. There we go. And then what's happened by this point, I'll bet you, is that our... Our mass distribution has become stable again. So we get through that moment of early instability <laughs> and then uh, get on our way to space. So I think actually we're doing fine. And so when the next stage fires, we should be close enough that we can just uh, we can hold stability just using the uh, you know, SAS, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm sorry, by the way, that I can't read anything you guys are saying right now, so if I'm missing you, don't worry, it's not intentional, it's just me being really distracted by the whole launch procedure process thing. Okay. Okay, now get that thing nose front, nose forward, and now I'm at sufficiently high altitude that the air pressure is fine. Now. I don't know how to get the map quickly. I want to check the map in UI mode, right? Toggle map. Okay. And... Um, wait a second. What the heck? I can't see this. That is a problem. Ah... Uh. That is unfortunate. First of all, get this down here. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I've lost the thing. Okay, we're doing fine. Nose down, get that. See, this is, would be a whole, why is this not selected? Oh my goodness. Okay, now what's our altitude here? Oh. I can't read that, that's too small. I think it's about 60. So I'm going to let that get up to three digits, right? Seventy-six. Oh, this is doing really well. Our velocity is going really nicely. Eighty. Okay, this is actually working. So we're going to get ourselves into orbit. We're going to have tons of fuel. And I cannot read that number, but I'm going to see when it gets to four digits and 95 I think I can't read it it's really hard from this distance with my old eyes my eyes are actually really tired from playing too much elite dangerous uh, believe it or not that's what I've been spending most of my time doing this weekend is actually playing elite dangerous because I wanted to do a video on some of the recent happenings in the universe of elite dangerous there we go 70 kilometers 
Oh. Whew. Okay. So, yeah, so we got 100k, and I'm going to sit and take a sip of this very fine vet beverage. Mm. What do I mean by trophy quest? I mean, I think trophies are the, are the achievements. I don't know. Whatever you get on the PlayStation that gives you... Um, when, when you get things, when you get to the moon and everything, you get a trophy for doing it first. So uh, I'm going for that. And I want to do it in a career mode game rather than a sandbox game that everyone else is doing. Because there's a whole bunch of people who are like, I beat you to all the achievements. I'm like, yeah, sure you did. Whatever. Um, talk with left and right. No, talk, hold, left and right doesn't work. Right? Left, that just changes, right? Nope, that doesn't work. L1, nope. Sorry, toggle the map with left and right should... Oh, so, oh, I see that. Okay, so you have to hold L1 first and then R1. Okay, that's good. Um, I wonder how close we are to getting into orbit here. Uh, let me just try this. Elu, Silver, Amadeus, 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 um, 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 Amadeus, ha 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 How are we doing? It doesn't tell us how long it is until we get there. So note that we're doing this without a, we're going to try and get out without the thingy. I think we're getting close enough that I should come Back. So I have to hold L1 first. Right, okay, so now get this and throttle to 100%. We're going to get up just here. So when the camera changes, that will be the moment that I have achieved orbit. <sighs> 200, 2000. 2100, 2150, we're going to get to about 2250 to get into orbit. 2250, there we go. So let's see what it looks like. So now, orbit, and here it's about something, and here it's about something, and I can't read either of those. Yes! Okay, we've got that. Let's see what our uh, situation is like. That's looking good. We have some liquid fuel left. And get back in. So we're going to have some fuel to get back into space. That's good. This is, this is excellent. Now let's actually start doing some science and transmitting the science that we can. Uh, uh, uh. So I should be able to do some crew reports from up here. Oh, this button. Everything, all the colors are so much more vibrant. Uh, space near Kerbin. That's great. That's not what I need to do. Reset experiment. I should be able to... Oh, you know what? I want an EVA. EVA. Then zoom in. There he is. So I should be able to left click on him. That's using the circle button, incidentally, because someone was asking that. EVA report. Uh, we've already got reports from the gra grasslands. So what I really want to do is just wait for this to happen. <sighs> Let's... We must be out of the grasslands now, right? EVA report. Nope. Okay, reset the experiment. And bored for now. let's do time acceleration. So I think I hold this and that, oh, that's physical time acceleration. How about this? How do I get... Why does that time accelerate? How about this? No, I gotta find out the time acceleration button. <sighs> that's fun. But actually we should have completed some contracts now, right? Yes, we get 49,000 for orbiting Kerbin. That's great. And reach a second accomplishment of attracted extra cash. So we've got a speed record as well. Do you find the buttons respond well? Yeah, no, the, the buttons respond relatively well. There's some cases the 
RCS pack is not responding particularly well, but generally everything's doing pretty well. Camera reset, camera toggle radio. What is the the thing? Oh, we should probably quick save as well. Focus next, throttle cutoff, brakes, reset, trim, 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 trim. We don't have any trim set. How do I time accelerate? Because the time accelerate is only giving me physics time acceleration. Yeah, it says time warp increase and decrease is what I was doing, but it's only giving me physics time warp. So, will I make a video on Starbound? Yes, I can make a video on Starbound. I made a video back in the old days of Starbound and then people were whining at it all the time. They were always like, these developers promised that they would make things faster, but they've now abandoned the game. And I'm like, really? I expect that they haven't abandoned the game. I think you're just asking for stuff too quickly. Developers, give them some time. I'm going to try and fly over and find some new places to get signed. Why is everything in one stage now? Because we still have... Oh, that is a very good point. Staging has got completely messed up by my EVA. That, I think, was a bug with version 1.10, which is what the console version is based on. So one of the things, the, the console version is slightly out of date. It's actually quite a bit out of date. I'm going to EVA again. Yeah, that, I hope, gets fixed. Okay. And let's... Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Let's get... That's EVA report. Oh, uh, just above the Highlands. We've already got Highlands. The Badlands will be coming up. <laughs> what? No, you need a... Spe yeah, you need to have the the Move Cam for the PlayStation 4. So there's a PlayStation Move camera for the PlayStation 3, which I have. I use that. But I don't have the PlayStation 4 version. Of course, this is a problem... <laughs> Uh, I, this is a problem that you have with consoles, is they do really like to force you to use new versions of everything. Okay, now I need to enable my RCS. There we go. Come on. Yes. It, for some reason I let go. That stage is fine. That's you were totally going to manage this. I'm trying to get out and get over somewhere else so I can collect more scientific data, but I don't know when we're going to get there yet. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Maybe I'll switch my camera to free mode. There we go. Uh, EVA once again. Apparently, the physics time warp is a bug. Yes. Mo, mo use warp to click the warp buttons. What? I think he's saying that there's the warp buttons. I just click the buttons up the top. That's what I've usually been doing. Still above grasslands. How boring. Can't you hook up a USB mouse? No, you can't. So anyway, like the rock band hardware, for example, uh, that is great. That has been fantastic in terms of a cross-platform compatibility. But PlayStation hardware, so official Sony stuff, has not been so good. I think the only PlayStation 3 stuff which still works on the PlayStation 4 is the Move controller, which is identical, oddly enough. The actual handheld controller you're not supposed to use, which is, you know, kind of annoying. This guy is wanting to move up. Stop climbing up. Never mind. I'm just going to go to the thing. I'm just going to go. I, I was hoping to get more science from Orbit. Sony, you know what? Sony are actually better than Microsoft for this, right? So when Rock Band came out... Uh, right, so I have a guitar there for Rock Band on the PlayStation 2, which still works on the PlayStation 4. That is not true of the Xbox hardware. Let me... Let me make that very clear. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Uh, let's just see if we can get into space. Actually, let's go. Let's go. Um, I'm going to go back to... What am I looking for? Oh, I want to do this. We're, we're in the map. I just want to see... 
that's 75 kilometers there which is fine so we're gonna go to Minmus but I think I might go back and see if I can enable um, maybe I should go to the moon first the moon would be easier and then we can go from the moon out to Minmus later after we've got some more science so I'm gonna have to wait for the moon to rise that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna we're just gonna eyeball it that's really what we're gonna do we're just gonna eyeball it oh switching focus silver thing silver Amadeus and we're orbiting this way so what we want to do is click on here and wait for the moon to show up 50 times okay so we're going 50 times and then the moment the moon turn shows up we're gonna stop time acceleration and we're gonna burn towards it like our lives depended upon it <laughs> I'm going to go to the moon first just to pick up some science that's really what we're doing and actually before I do that I should probably check back at the in the command thing for more contracts where are you Mooney 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 Okay we're gonna start firing that engine ASAP No, we've got everything. We'll fix our staging when we need to stage. I think at this point I'm going to just stage everything manually, right? Okay, there we go. Both firing the engines. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, Hewitt. And that's that stage fired. Okay, next. I'm going to manually stage this thing. Decouple. And activate. Okay, okay, okay. Now, we've got to go to the map. zoom out and I'm gonna wait for this thing to roughly cross the moon's orbit because I think that'll get us most of the way there oh what the what the deuce what the deuce no 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 okay oh man so I could hold this button I'm gonna actually just throttle down a bit throttle down 50% percent and I don't think we're gonna get changes seen here so I'm just gonna go slightly past the moon and hope that we catch it while it's out there if not we'll, we'll do it uh, okay the, this is so this is not an official PlayStation microphone the problem with the mic setup is that it's actually a better microphone that I cannot get any voice feedback from I use this microphone to record several videos, but for some reason it sounds crap on the PlayStation. Not really sure what's going on there. Okay, so we are going back to the Space Center right now because we want to see if we have any more missions and things like that. Also, maybe, 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 maybe I want to actually see if uh, I can bring up some, uh, some stuff. First thing here. Oh, we have 145k. See, I would really like to get some money because then I could unlock the sample taking thing, but I think that's not possible. Test Rockamax on a suborbital trajectory. Focused observations. We don't have any of this yet because we it had, time hasn't ticked over. We have to wait for some of these to expire. I'm just going to check this. Research and development. 451 and if we upgrade that would let us collect samples but we're not going to be able to collect surface samples which is a problem the astronaut complex we don't care this one 
This upgrade is going to cost me 150, so I don't have the money yet to get that. Uh, to get that, and honestly, I may not want to do that because I think I want to make sure I have a buffer to build more things, right? So at least for my moon intercept, I'm going to have to fly this manually. Got it. Got it, Verna. Or sorry, Jean. There's enough games and programs with a built-in voice chat. Do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just don't have a setup to actually listen to this. That's all. And the problem is that my microphone is really just being overmodulated by my voice all the time. And I just can't hear it. That's really what it is. It's just my voice is sometimes too loud, too powerful. And so if I'm clipping, I want you guys to remind me. Just say, Scott, your mic is clipping. And I'll be like, oh, oh, sorry, dudes. I will fix this. You know what I'm going to do is point this thing like that so that I'm going to get some micro thing. And we should be going above the important altitude so that we can get high... High science. We're going to get some high science in a moment, any minute now, because I think it's 250. So, crew report. Excellent. It's very round, and I can transmit this. Hallelujah. 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 And this, right click. Let's get temperature. Measuring the temperature of space appears to be quite impossible, as there is no matter around to be either hot or cold, except the spacecraft and the thermometer itself. This is probably going to give the R&D guys something to think about for a while. So I am going to transmit that once we receive it. And we have solar panels, so that's the important thing. I'm just going to keep that popped up so I can see it happening. The compression is pretty noticeable, I see. Uh, this should be a 2.4 megabit stream. I'm doing this at the highest quality possible. The previous ones were done at regular quality, which is apparently Sony's code name for crap. Uh, let's actually do that EVA report as well while I'm at it. EVA. And get him. EVA report. Great. Keep and lo uh, long tap on circle button. Okay, now we've got our, now we've reported all our science back. I can now do the same science dance once again with the temperature. So we can grab the temperature a second time. So here's the thing, all these bugged things, these were all bugs in the PC version at one point as well. That's the thing that, you know, you've got to remember. Oh, apparently reviewing the data, we never finished transmitting it. How odd. How interesting. I'm going to run time forward faster to see if we can recharge faster. Would it be possible to stream this from your computer and just capture the screen from the PS4? That would be more correct, the mic and whatever. I could do that. It's uh, mostly I'm doing this because it's much more convenient and easy. I thought about doing the fancy, you know, peering it off to the computer and stuff like that, but I decided, you know what? I'm chill. I just like sitting out on the sofa and relaxing. Okay. Data received on temperature scan while in space above Kerbin. Thank you. And then log temperature one more time. And so we're going to keep that. Now we've got it. We can EVA once again. And hopefully we can grab the temperature from this without going too far. Uh, take data. There we go. Take data. And then long tap in the circle button to board. Yes! PlayStation 4. PS4 playthrough. <laughs> okay, so now... Oh, I'm going to hold it in that attitude. And we're going to start running time forwards. Let's just take a look here. What contract did I get? I've got a new altitude record, so in theory I could use some of that cash to unlock the um, the thing. But the, the built-in console streaming services are 
you know, they're okay. I mean, they have the benefit of being free. That's why I'm using it. I'm not really doing much in the PlayStation 4. So I consider this mostly a bonus stream, right? <laughs> I don't know why PS4 is being censored. That is really bizarre. It's S4 that's being censored. I'm just in the zone. <laughs> that's right, I'm in the zone. Okay, so let's see how we're doing here. I'm going to zoom out. This is where I have to be careful. So I'm going to run time forward a little faster. I want to be, be careful because it's going to be quite easy for me to run, uh, to basically get in too close to the moon and then fail. So I'm going to slow time down once I get out there. Look, this is just like the old days before we had maneuver nodes or anything. What will happen is it will switch when I get close and hopefully the world will be a happier place and I will hopefully be on a reasonable intercept. Ah, there you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Wow. The fly me to the moon thing appeared right <laughs> where I didn't need it. It's like, ah, no. Why is S1 through S5 censored? I don't get that. Is that some sort of jab at like Samsung. Okay, so we're getting to the moon, which is, that's good. And look how close to the plane we are. I think that's pretty good actually. So from here, we should start getting science. Oh, wrong button. There we go. So now, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. This game is the same price as the PC version. It's $40, and if you have a PC, you should probably get it on that. All the same, if you only have a PlayStation 4, this is uh, not bad, I guess. Measuring the temperature of space, etc., etc. So now we're going to do this. See, I could have used some more battery power. That's what I could have used here. Okay, we've done that. Now, crew report. This is going to take some time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just use PS crap instead. Aha, that's true. That would technically be a uh, sort of valid. Hold on, I'm going to time accelerate to recharge my stuff faster. It, everything just does, does seem to take a whole lot longer on the PlayStation, right? That's just, you know, what happens, I think. Do, 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 do. S12, <laughs> yes. I don't, I honestly don't know what that is. My game crashed seven times after trying to return from Minmus on the Xbox. I can't figure the same system, so I keep getting screwed over. Yeah, I, uh, I noticed that people in the Xbox seem to be having a lot of problems with crashes. And you know what? Since you're talking about that, I'm going to quick save. Yes, quick save. Good to know. So that's me transmitting that. We've transmitted that. And now I think about it, I should review stored data. What stored data do we have? We have temperature, but we don't care about that. But we have an EVA report from in space, high over Kerbin, which we should transmit. Again, time accelerate to let the batteries recharge. Meanwhile, we're of course falling towards the moon, slowly-ish. I think I did a pretty good job actually eyeballing that, to be honest. I don't know if anybody's giving me mad props for that, but I personally was quite impressed that I managed to get a 60 kilometer encounter. Keep that experiment. Now, uh, EVA, look at the Kerbal's face. He's so happy, look at him. He's got so much stuff, EVA report. We have recorded your observations of the situation. You know what, that's something they should have done with the community uh, you know, the community science reports, those were really good, and I don't know what the copyright was on those, but, yeah, wow. <laughs> okay, so, you know what, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if the S1 through 4 is perhaps censored because of people sharing, like, videos, you know, of, of TV series, you know, like season 1 through 3, you know, 4. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe people are just advertising that. I don't know. 
Oh, sorry, I just really need that drink there. My throat is actually getting rather parched here. Log temperature once again, because we're gonna keep, we're gonna take the rest of the science data back home. And we've got an EVA again. And I'm gonna grab this. Oh, look, I can just actually just do take data because the box is persistent. Excellent, item stored. And now board spacecraft. Whew. Okay, now, why is this down there? Because surely, okay, let's take a look actually. There is the moon, there, there's, there's the moon there, look at that. Okay, so, next thing I wanna do probably is point retrograde. There we go, point that upwards. So I'm gonna go into orbit around the moon. That's, we're gonna do that. And then after we've collected some data, we will continue and try and get to Minmus. Cause I think I have tons of Delta V here. Could be wrong, but I think I have tons of Delta V. So we wanna time accelerate forwards. And unfortunately, we only have this really lousy way of doing it. So forgive me, but we're gonna have to sit down and just watch this happen very slowly, very slowly. So how are you guys doing? We seem to have plenty of time. I'm just doing my David Cameron impersonation. You know, that moment where he resigns or whatever. He didn't resign, but he's like, like, oh, well, well, there'll be a new prime minister by Thursday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, 400. We're getting close to this. Three, two, 300, 200. And I can't remember science altitudes for the moon. I should probably figure this out. Yeah, I think uh, the, I don't know what is up with the blocking of PS thing, but that's really hilarious. So now, now I need to point that away. And I'm gonna do this, take a look, see where we are. And I'm gonna grab this. So we need to get ourselves into orbit here. So one of the problems I find, I've realized, is that fast, oh, it high lows, 30, I don't care. This is locked to 30 FPS, I don't know. The stream is obviously locked to 30 FPS because only uh, people that you know talk about the PC Master Race think that 60 FPS on streams really care. I mean, seriously, like 60 FPS when you're playing a game, very important. 60, 60 FPS when you're watching a stream about a game, not so important. What's the beer? The beer is Golden State of Mind by Ale Industries. Okay, so we're doing this. Do, 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 do. And I think I'm going to start firing these engines just a little. Man, they're still falling down. That's really interesting that that's happening. Oh, <laughs> you can't see this, but off to my right, one of the kittens just crawled out of the HVAC system. I suspect that I should be fixing something. Okay. Video resolution, what, 1280 by 720? Yes, that is the video resolution of, for this video stream. You know what? I used to stream Kerbal Space Program at 20 FPS. Uh, on my PC. Nobody complained back then. Okay, we're gonna do that. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's, that was the transition to elliptical orbits there. So I'm gonna just do this at one third thrust. We, we should, I think we could get, we could land onto uh, Minmus with this. I don't think we have a problem with that, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, normally on PC, I would be doing a lot of, you know, I would be hanging out on EVA and basically getting all the science, but that's kind of dull on a stream, so I'm not sure I should do that. 
Okay. Oh, yeah, slow that down. Now, what is this here? This is 45. You know what? I can do a little more. I can, I can afford to go lower. Base, how low can you go? 41. Damn it. it what is, does the right button work? I'm going to try that. Oh, it remains pinned. Oh, hallelujah. At least we have that feature. Going to bring it down to like 30. Because actually that's the way I'm going to be burning out. So having the, the vector there is going to be pretty good. Excellent. Okay. Now, now that that's all sorted, let's go back to this. Uh oh, wrong button. I'm going to first of all EVA this dude because we might be over a, a unique location because the science data that he gets is specific to... Oh man, damn it, there we go. EVA report. I record my observations about the situation. Keep that. And then I'm going to store... Not all items. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, I'm still high above the moon. That's what it is. Oh well. Um, doesn't matter right now then. Bored anyway. So yeah, could somebody look up the altitude at which high altitude versus low altitude science exists around the moon because I clearly have forgotten. And I am going to rotate this spacecraft this way because if we come out of the moon's shadow I would like my thing to... It says 60. Okay, so I'm going to be fine when I get below 60. Thank you CT Bram. That is excellent. That is appreciated. That is ex especially excellent. Oh, you know what? Um, should I get... No, I'm going to collect one of these at Minmus. I'm going to collect one... One of these we'll collect here. Okay, now we're low over this moon. Let's do this. Right click. Crew report. Yes. Oh, no, it says space near the moon. Okay, that's good. We got that. Keep the experiment. And I'm going to take this right now just in case I don't get to Minmus. Observe materials B. That will be worth a ton of science. Excellent. And I'm going to collect one of these too. Observe materials B. Science! Keep the science. And where's the thermometer? Thermometer. Collect the science. Log temperature. That's given me plenty of science too. Excellent. Now let's EVA him to get the EVA science. EVA science is go. EVA report. Excellent. Keep that. And uh, look, it, it crawls upwards all the time. He's just like forever moving up unless, unless I tell him to move down. Take the data. I have to do this. And then I'm going to store the data, store experiments. Uh oh. Now, once again, see if I can get a new EVA report. Space just above the Midlands. And then long tap circle button to board. Uh, yes, ditch it. Don't worry, don't worry, we don't care. Has the sun come up yet? Because I don't want to be doing anything until the sun comes up. There is a one-point pre-release of KOS out. I'm thinking about doing a KSP series focused on control system theory. I think that would be fantastic because I don't really know much about control system theory. Uh, I think that plenty of people have written about it and really do know about it. I've 
I mean, I looked at PID controllers and I understand what they're doing, but I've never really used them except in Kerbal Space Program. So, you know, you gotta, I feel that it'd be better to have somebody that has actually used them professionally. Okay, run time forward. And you know what I'm really missing is a you're in this biome message. Oh, there's the, there's the sun. Finally, finally. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, now we're gonna point this vertically straight up and down so we maximize our recharge. And we're gonna start transmitting this science. Because we have to get as much as possible out of this. So actually, first of all, uh, review data, transmit away. Here we go. Now, while that's transmitting, 50, 75, 100%, EVA. See if we've got some new science yet. I walk down before you do it. Because I don't want to have to float you around in ecstasy, so don't stop me now. Mid Midlands, we got that one already. Oh man, just waiting for new science. Midlands, boring. Okay, well, while this is going, we'll get back inside. Let's actually look at the map here. I wanna see what we'll, oh look, we're dead. We're gonna pass over that crater for sure. This would be nice if I had a, a map of the moon drawn out so I could actually figure out which was in which places, which uh, biomes are in which location. Let's do a little bit of time acceleration here. Even if it's physics time acceleration, oh my god, I can't believe that bug made it into the game. Seriously. That is not a bug that I would have allowed into Kerbal Space Program if I had had anything to do with it. Okay, now we're coming out of this. I'm gonna... We can transmit some more data from something. Information. We want to trans review stored data or review the report. Yes, we've got crew report near the moon and I'd like you to transmit that so that we can collect the data back home. And we'll have some more. Okay, meanwhile, let's EVA him one more time. EVA. All I can, when I hear EVA, I just keep on thinking about the KPMG song and thinking, oh, there should be a Kerbal version of that. Oh, it's the wrong thing. Okay. Now he's floating in space. I've messed it up. EVA report. Lowlands, yes! Polar Lowlands! What? I think we might have... Store data. Store experiments. Excellent. So we must have got that just as we were crossing the boundary there. East Crater, yes! Wow, how fortuitous! We got a biome that we simply shouldn't have got. Store experiments. And I can't actually board yet, so... Tap circle... Oh dear, 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 dear. That is not good. Where is he? Wow! Oh wait, I should be going downwards. Let's just check. Yeah, that's downwards. Man, that was unfortunate. Ah. Well, as long as the batteries are still recharging. And again, that is exactly the kind of bug <laughs> that we, ha we know and love from the PC version. So another thing I really don't like is that the RCS thrusters he's using seem to only work if you do a full deflection. If you do it like a tiny deflection, it's not analog, which I, you know, if 
why wouldn't you make it analog if you had the option? Right? Grab it and let's not board just yet. Let's see if we can get some more science. EVA report. Um, East Crater. Keep it and board. Dump it. Dump experiment. <laughs> <laughs> All in all, what do I think of the console version of the game? Look, I, I've made it clear that if you have a PC version, there's n almost no reason to get the console version. If you have a console, it's adequate. It does many things. It has bugs, which will be fixed. Um, yeah, I mean, I think there's more they could have done. And I just uh, kind of hope that we get to see some of that. Okay, let's review stored data. Uh, we're going to transmit that space above the East Crater. Yay! I'm going to keep that experiment. And then what I'm going to do right now, actually, is this. Keep, 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 keep. Because what I want to do is put myself into a circular or, or lower my periapsis just a bit. My perimun. Not to be confused with perimison. Okay, so I'm going to just fire the engines just a little until the thing is... Oh, okay. Sixty four, sixty five, sixty three, sixty two, sixty one, sixty. 60... Okay, now wherever we are in the moon, we're going to get moon science. Is there a part limit on the console version? So there are part limits... Oh. There's part limits that I'm playing with right now because we're simply playing in a, you know, because I'm playing in career mode. There may well be a part limit. I thought that the there was a 300 part limit anyway at certain career levels. But yeah, maybe I wouldn't be surprised if they make a part limit on the console version. That being said, is there anything that stops you from building a giant space station by you know putting stuff together? Because, you know, I could certainly work happily within a 300 part limit. I think the limit is, frankly, quite reasonable unless you're trying to do something really crazy. Okay, we're waiting on our power to recharge now. Let's actually take a look at the map again. And we're out of that crater space, so... Let's see if I can EVA and get more data. EVA... Dun, dun, dun. So it's sometimes kind of annoying that the Midland Craters, excellent, more data. More data, more data. I said board, I'm trying to board, no? There. <sighs> yeah, I... I th yeah, 300, I mean, you can build a lot of things, right? I, I don't think that you're... It's not going to be the same as a PC experience, but most of the stock stuff is quite, you know, happy. Uh, the pilot is giving me the SAS capability right now. Sorry, is that what we're asking about? I'm trying to get my spacecraft recharged so I can collect more data... Once again, we're going to pass over some more stuff. Okay. No, not this. No, this. There we go. <sighs> docking, yeah. You know, I don't find any problem with docking. I've never, I haven't had any issues with dog. I mean, you saw the very first stream, I managed to really screw up. And I uh, had to dock without any RCS thrusters. And, you know, I survived. It was far from ideal, but I survived. Okay, once again, time accelerate to let the thing recharge. I was trying to go to Twitter, and autocomplete took me to Twitch instead. Ha! 
Oh, that auto complete. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to do this. And any minute now, any minute now, we're going to transmit. Oh, that's interesting. OK, so let's uh, do the EVA thing again. See if there's something new in this region. So actually, one of the things that is kind of nice about the PlayStation controller is the accelerometer can be used to help adjust the mouse, which is really helpful at times. There we go. Crew hatch. You know. Jebediah Kerman. Moon's Midlands. I think we've got that. Reset the experiment. That's what the Midlands look like. All sorts of grey and dull and boring. Are you getting inundated with Kerbal Rescue Missions yet? I don't think there's any way to share save games on the PlayStation, which is actually interesting because certainly there are PlayStation titles that let you do that. You know, they've, they've talked about modding on the PlayStation 4 and how, you know, Fallout or whatever Skyrim does it badly. I don't think you need that. I think at the very least you should be able to share spacecraft. You should be able to share craft file and save file. That would be actually pretty easy. You got Nemesis to crash into the moon using those ion drives. Well, that's great, I guess. I'm just going to sit here and EVA report until I get something interesting. And I'm going to sit and take a sip. Is this a new Pokemon game? Catching a Zubat on the moon? No, 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 no. As I pointed out, there's some fairly space-age technology that goes into making Pokemon Go work. But we're not do doing that here. <laughs> Just above the moon Midlands. You know what? I think, I think I've had enough. I think I'm going to go to the Minmus. I'm going to go to Minmus, right? Seen Star Trek Beyond yet? S -s 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 no, I haven't yet seen Star Trek Beyond. Uh... Oh, oh, I'm going to do a long tap to board. And then we're going to do this. Okay, so i got to figure out how I'm going to get to Minmus. I'm going to keep on transmitting science as I do this because we don't want to crash. We don't want to lose any science, right? Cr uh, review stored data. Space, high over Kerbin. Oh, yes, EVA report. Please transmit that on. And then keep... So I guess we need the map. Okay, so I could spend money and buy the capabilities of the um, of the the control center, or I could do it by guesswork. And I actually like the idea of doing this by guesswork, right? So that's what I'm going to do. We're, we're going to do a guess. I know, I don't care about the staging. I don't care about the staging. So, wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, can I uh, click here? No. If I click here with the right, left mouse button. No, so I can't do a time accelerate until I'm there. So I have to do it this way. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to time accelerate until I'm in that location. I'm just, so I figured this will be fun to try flying out to Minmus using the using the spacecraft without any maneuver nodes because hey it's fun it's a challenge how often do i get a challenge anymore flying to the moon is supremely difficult just by flapping your wings yes it is <laughs> Oh yes, well that's that's great, Silver Amadeus. I just thought that was a cool name uh, for no other reason than that. Sometimes I ask trivia questions like, uh, you know, who was the producer? Who was the guy that produced Bohemian Rhapsody? Because everyone knows the band was Queen, but who was the engineer that was working on the knobs and saying, why the hell are you bouncing down more vocals? We've got enough vocals. What do you mean, opera? This is a rock thing. 
Okay, so that's retrograde. No, we're not going to go that way. We're going to go this way, and we're going to ret we're going to fire our boosters and bring ourselves out into deep space. And so, because of this, because of the um, because I don't have the uh, the control center thing, the tracking station, I won't know where I go next. So I'm going to have to stay in close. And then once I leave the um, the vicinity of the moon, I can then I can then do other stuff. <laughs> okay, so I'm just doing this slowly because I don't want to overdo it. So I'm just gonna once I leave the vicinity of the moon, that I'll make a second burn. So I'm actually not exploiting the Oberth effect quite as much as I would like to, which means I don't get to talk about Hermann Ober. And uh, people, of course, don't get to criticize me for not pronouncing his name correctly. You know, it's it's a bit of a win, a bit of a lose, a bit of a, you know, what are you going to do about it anyway? Okay, so that... I'm presuming that means I'm going to escape the moon sphere of influence. I'm going to fire my engines a little more because we, we're just getting there and it would be nice to go a little faster. Oh, oh crap! <sighs> Wrong button. Okay, so I might have overdone that. We'll find out. Here we go, 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 here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm going to review stored data now. <whistles> Full speed. Okay, from above the polar lowlands, transmit that data. Keep, 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 keep. And then while we're on the way out, let's try one more EVA report, just in case we get something interesting. You never know. It might be interesting. Crew report. Uh, not re crew report, damn it. Zoom in. Crawl down. And select an EVA. Now we've got that. Reset. There we go. Okay. Jebediah got a, may have got a one way ticket to around the sun. I don't think we're going that fast. But if we are, I will deal with it. Right? Because that's what I do. Remember, how we deal with failure is at least as good as useful as how we deal with success or whatever, right? Or, there we go. So, uh, let's go back to the map. <laughs> There's so much downtime in a Kerbal game, it's really, really hard for me. Man, an hour and 17 minutes. There we go. I'm just hoping that I can grab this copy from Twitch because Twitch really doesn't like sharing its high quality versions. You have to use a, you know, a non-approved version of the downloader to actually get the things to download stuff from the Twitch service, which is really kind of frustrating, but whatever. Okay, so there's there's Minmus there. Success is welcome. Failure is worked around. I see, that's a good one. I think I'm doing a pretty good job of working around uh, this. Yeah, I mean, paradoxically, see, here's the thing. It's not a memory problem on the PlayStation. So that's something that I thought that perhaps they could work around. You know, they could put more more textures in, higher resolution textures. That could certainly work. Because the PlayStation isn't going to suffer from the same memory limits as the PC version has suffered from. Uh, you know, although nowadays it doesn't suffer from it, but in the past they were certainly very careful about including stuff because of that. They could also include more models, like some of the curb inside stuff would work very well in the PlayStation environment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that flying off into deep space. Uh, I should have gone faster, I think. 
Oh, there we go. Now, let's see where we are. Let's see where this takes us. And, oh, yeah, yep, we are on a one-way trip to interstellar space. So, I need to fix that, and I need to fix that sooner rather than later. So, let's stop this. We do not want to go to interstellar space. Not interstellar space, interplanetary space. That would be a waste. We want to bring this science back. So let's start firing those engines. Slow everyone down. Oh, I'm going to turn this around. So the other thing I should be trying to do is correct this inclination a bit. Uh, actually, I guess what we'll do is I'll just make sure that I touch that orbit in an osculating orbit and then uh, I will make the correction there. I mean, targeting this isn't going to work, right? Yeah, I can't right-click or target this or anything. And I need to... So here's the thing, the engine controls don't work if you have the mouse in cursor mode, which can be very worrying because you're switching back and forth between mouse and controls and stuff. There we go, slowing down, bringing it down. We're now going back to Minmus on the console version because we can. Are there any features that are missing on the PC version, PS4 version compared to the play, uh, PC? As there is nothing. The only things that are missing are mods. That's the real thing. Uh, the other, I mean, the thing to be aware of is that the console version, for some reason, is using 1.10 versus 1.13, which means the number of bugs that are were fixed on the PC version are still on the PlayStation and the Xbox version. And that's unfortunate, because, you know, they certainly, they clearly had all those fixes and everything in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do think I do think that's really interesting that the PlayStation 4 Twitch chat is filtering PS4. It's kind of a ridiculous, you know, thing. I don't know if it's like a Scunthorpe problem or something. You know what? Does that hands up who knows what the Scunthorpe problem is in linguistics? Yes, yeah, Scunthorpe problem. That's uh, something that I have occasionally had to deal with. Okay, I just want to make sure that my spacecraft is in, sh not in shadow, oh good. So you want to make sure that your solar panels are always in the right place. And now that we've done this, I can transmit some more science. Transmit, or find this, review stored data. And we keep that, keep that, transmit that, keep that. And we still have an EVA report above the Midlands that we want to transmit. <laughs> Wait, do, sorry, I didn't get that. Uh, you had to Google it, the Scunthorpe problem. It's quite common, it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> um, gets all the problems, yes, exactly. You quit lingu- it's only, it's, sorry, it's more computational linguistics and not even that, it's it's lazy people writing language filters will frequently come up against something that is referred to as the Scunthorpe problem. And uh, it gets interesting in other languages as well because, for example, um, DEP in German is like dumb. So you will find some systems filtering out like Johnny Depp or, you know, because of the history of well, because of some certain World War II history, you'll find sometimes that uh, for sensitivity reasons, Jude Law is getting filtered out in German. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, yes. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I'm just gonna, gonna transmit this data now that we've got it. That will use too much of our power. Oh, abort, it aborts the transmission. I gotta let that thing happen. <laughs> uh, there was a fun story I once read about websites that had poorly chosen names and one of them was Pen Island I remember <laughs> and another one was Therapist Finder uh, it's yes 
So let's actually run time forward so I can get up towards that orbit. Okay, a thousand times regular speed. <laughs> Penn Island, yes, that's right. There's there's quite a few of these. What's your favorite culture novel? I, I I think I actually really love Look to Windward, and and that is not a popular choice. But actually, I think my favorite is definitely Accession. Uh, Accession just puts the the minds front and center, and is so much fun. Okay, now I'm going to review stored data again. Review stored data. And transmit. And then that says we've got all the science that we need. Transmitted. Excellent. Now back to the map. Okay, so now we're going to run time forward again. I'm running at a, a thousand times normal speed because, man... 10,000 feels dangerous. It feels like I'm living dangerous running at 10,000 regular speed. Okay, so... What is my altitude here? Uh, it's 44. So I need to... And this is going to be... This is going to take so long to rendezvous. Holy moly, this is going to take forever to rendezvous. I'm sorry. We're going to do this. Even if it takes forever. First thing we're going to do, of course, is circularize our orbit. And actually, what I should do is fire it slightly in this direction so that I'm... I'm doing one of these. I'm changing the inclination a bit. There we go. Look at that. Getting some inclination up. And actually, I'm going to stop that because I think I'm just exacerbating the problem now. Okay, I've actually overcompensated for inclination. But that's fine because when I start firing again in this direction, it will, it will start to repair. So... I need to make sure that I'm in an orbit that's slightly higher than Minmus, but also one that's not so much higher that I lose it. So this is the challenge. The challenge will be that I need to rendezvous with Minmus without any of the usual niceties that one might have. Okay. Just going to zoom out here. Oh, so I don't want to do that because then it'll be catching up. You see? What's going to happen is we're going to flip that around. We're going to turn the orbit around, lift it up a bit. And that's good. So now I think we need to time warp until we're here. But before we do that, we need to make another one of those checks. Because um, every time you do this, you want to make sure that the, so the solar panels are illuminated. Because <laughs> that could be a problem. Okay, so now, now we're going to bring up the time acceleration again and 10,000 times time acceleration. Do, 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 do. Oh man. This is, I am sweating, but it's probably because it's a really, really hot day. Far too hot for me to be trying to concentrate this much and you know what I, their concentration is really because I'm working hard on the PlayStation controller here. okay so I am going oh, I'm still not quite there that's fine we'll just run time forwards again a hundred times a thousand I'm trying to guess where these things are roughly aligned again this is what we had to do in the old days we didn't have the information that would tell you when the you know the relative inclination of the orbits I had to do rendezvous in the old days without any of this information so this is not 
altogether unfamiliar to me. So if I, so here's, okay, so someone's asking you, what mods would I put in the base game? And I would say, you know, there's actually quite, there's a great many mods that would do very well in the base game. I think that, first of all, obviously, like, a Kerbal Engineer, or, or on the consoles, I could actually see a real argument for including Mechanical Jeb on the consoles, because the, you know, it's, you know, flying is actually quite a bit harder so there's a definite argument that you could I don't know I think it wouldn't go amiss it'd be kind of nice to have a mode where you're basically planning the maneuvers and then having mech jeb perform them for you okay so now let's zoom out so, so the only thing I think is I want to do a correction at the far side here to make sure that my uh periaps isn't inside that of the orbit so we want to make another maneuver here once again back to the map to check that we are charging our batteries and 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 we are we're still charging the batteries good to know good to know come back out zoom out and we have been in space for 25 days Poor Jebediah is going to spend an awful lot of time in space. Hello from Slovenia! Didn't Far Creator make a fuss about Seacan and stuff like that a week ago? He might have. I honestly tend to ignore people complaining about these things uh, because they tend to blow over. I mean, yeah. Uh, anyway, anyway. You know what? There's another thing I want to do now that I think about it. Let's just do this. I'm going to... I'm going to fire my engines to bring this up and then I realize I should go back to the space center now that we've been going for 25 days and actually check for contracts which may be relevant. Okay, so we're just going to do this for a little and bingo, bingo, bingo. 